guys. Hey, it's Christine Horn. This is, this is an Actors Daily Bread. I mean, that's the show I usually do, but that's not what we're doing today. Today, this is a Q&A for the Aging Attraction Method. I've already gone live on Instagram. What's up, Wendy? What's up, Reggie? What's up, Urban Therapist? What's up, Rome? Romel 101. These names, y'all be killing me uh, just because I have a hard time saying them. But what's up, Facebook? Um, so listen, I'm going to be here on both. If you've been living under a rock and haven't been following me lately, which is um, very possible because I've been kind of in and out the loop. Thank you for the love on Instagram. Hey, Trafina. Um, I don't want to waste your time to respect your time. This Q&A is about uh, the agent attraction method. If that does not interest you, you probably don't want to hang around today. Um, the agent attraction method is a digital course that I'm offering. I only offer it now once a year. I was going to close the doors tomorrow, but some of y'all been emailing me and being like the way my bank account is set up, the way my, the way my paycheck is set up at my job. I got checking in the savings and I get paid on Friday. And so I've extended the deadline to Friday. Okay. Um, for those of you who are in need of this. <laughs> um, so some of you watching have um, already taken it, some of you haven't, but I have gotten some questions through Instagram and through my email, and I do wanna just address those. And if you're watching and are on the fence about um, what the agent attraction method is, if you're uh, watching on Facebook or Instagram, just click the link in the bio on Instagram and the link here in the uh, description on Facebook and learn more about it. But I'm gonna walk you through it today as well. Um, sent a request to be in your live video. Did you mean to send me a request to be in my video, Elaine? Maybe you hit the wrong button. Um, but anyway, if you're just popping on, like, who the hell is this lady with this curly wig on? I'm Christine Horn. Hey, I'm a professional actress working in Hollywood, and I'm also a life and career coach for actors just like you. And again, I just want to kind of dive into some of the questions that have been coming into my inbox. Shout out to Sharon in New York. Uh, shout out to Sarah in LA, Nancy Powell, aka Summer, who... Um, who just recently are on the program. The issue is, Elaine, I'm on two platforms. So I'm on Instagram and I'm on Facebook. So who, people on Facebook would not see you there. Um, so maybe let's talk offline and we can do something like that in the future. Uh, we can do it soon. Just that threw me off, girl, that threw me off. Uh, shout out to Elaine, who's in my Booking Magnet Academy and uh, Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group. So let's dive in, shall we? Um, to all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. Um, and let me say this really quick. Um, if you're not in the space or... No, no, don't be sorry. Um, but let, let's do it, though. Um, if you're not in the space where you need an agent, no problem. But if you just still need some tips and tricks on working in more film and TV, come on over to my YouTube channel. There's over 170 something videos in there you can have fun on. So let me dive in. So again, this is the season. April, May, June is the best time to try to get a new agent to get your dream team. And um, I have an amazing course that teaches you how to do just that. And I just wanted to talk briefly about the reason why I call it agent attraction is because, and if you haven't been to my Instagram page, come on over. It's at actress Christine Horn um, and come follow me there. And all in my feed, I have tons of videos I've been putting out all month, just kind of clearing up what that relationship should look like. You know, I know some of my clients are in situations where they're scared of the agent or the agent never responds to you, or your agent or manager, you're not in alignment with what types of roles you wanna go out for, and therefore they're sending you out for whatever, right? Um, some of y'all are signed with some scam, sham, shammy agents who are <laughs> having you pay for stuff that you shouldn't have to be paying for. I talked about that on my Instagram as well, about avoiding scams. So there's all kinds of things, but I wanna kind of go down this list of questions that I've been getting, and if you have any, put them in the comments. So the first one someone asked is, um, I noticed a lot of your stuff was about for actors who were advanced. Do you need to be an advanced actor to get an agent? And the answer is no. Now, what kind of agent you get will vary based on this. There are plenty of agents who, who enjoy um, developing new talent. I feel really like vulnerable on Instagram, the way this is looking at my stomach. Y'all are just in my area. <laughs> so I'm gonna cover it to my stomach. Um, so some, 
<laughs> some of uh, some of small agents, that's what we call boutique agencies, would be open to uh, repping um, actors who don't have a ton of credits. So you may have a lot of theater credits and don't have a lot of film and TV. So don't let that. <laughs> Thank you. Don't let that stop you because there's still agents who will believe in you and who will see that you have something about you that is worth signing. So the mistake would be if you're watching this and you're like, I need an agent. I'm going to go for one of the top five in my town or the top three. That is where you're going to fall flat on your face because unless you, you feel a very specific need that that agency is missing, it could be your, um, your nationality, um, uh, your age range, you know what I mean? Unless you really are fitting a specific uh, thing that they're missing, they're going to skip over you because they probably have too many of you. I see you on Facebook, guys. Come on and say hi. Say hello. Don't be lurkers. Just give me a hi, Christine. Hey, I'm here, girl. I like your hair. Give me something. Um, so I don't feel like I'm talking to myself. Um, so just know that there's that. Um, another question I get is, can you get an agent without a reel? Yes. Is it better to, it's, um, is it, is it great to have a reel? Yes. But I'd rather you, hey TC, hey Neil, um, hey Tamara, I'd rather you have some strong pictures and not a reel that looks like crap. Like all reels are not created equal. Just because you have video footage doesn't mean, uh, that that's good footage. Your, your, some of your footage can actually hurt you. Hey, William. Hey, Elisa. Hey, Kedrick. You know what I mean? Some of your footage can hurt you. So sometimes you think, oh, I did this low budget film. I did this student film. I'm going to just make this my reel. Or I'm going to do this monologue in my, off, in, my, in my bathroom or in my hallway and submit that as my reel. And I'm trying to tell you, I'd rather you not submit anything and just start with your a resume and start with your picture and go from there, right? Shout out to Neil who just says on Instagram, I got an agent without a reel. So I just want to kind of nip that myth in the bud. Hey, Cherie, I want to nip that myth in the bud. You can get an agent without that. Again, it's about them seeing the, uh, the potential in you. Wendy, I see your question. I'm not going to skip it, okay? I just want to go down mine, then I'll come back to you. Shout out to the Cayman Islands in the house. Um, another uh, question I get about and then I got this in my inbox. This is just stuff that you guys are sending me um, about agent scams. Some of you are not sure if you're being scammed. <laughs> and I'm not laughing at you. It's just unfortunate that you're not even sure. You'll know a scam if your agent makes you pay a monthly fee, tells you you, gotta, you, can, you just got to sign this contract. And before, I legit had this happen to me. One of my, some of you don't know, some of you do know, and you'll find out in my book that's released in July. I will I talk more about this, but the day job I had for like 15 years in Atlanta before I moved back to Los Angeles was at a nonprofit. And I worked with people with disabilities and I would help them get jobs. So I worked with a lot of autistic Asperger's, mental, physical disabilities, no problem. And one of my clients um, wanted to be an actor and his family just was adamant about that and they was like christine he's gonna sign with this agency all we have to pay him is 495 dollars and then after that it's just 15 dollars a month for the website maintenance fee and i was like 400 who now and like they just refused they didn't understand that they were being scammed and i was like they were like no you don't understand and i'm like no i do understand you're being scammed. But hey, if you got $495, let me start the Christine Horn Agency and you can pay me $495 to give you this information. But that's how you know. Hey, Rachel, that's how you know you're being scammed. If you're being required to pay something up front before you even begin working, your agent, though they like to make it seem like it's different, agent or manager work for you. Let's not forget. I know the energy gets really weird, which is why my program is called Agent Attraction Method. And again, if you're just hopping on, this is a Q&A about the Agent Attraction Method. Rachel said, we don't pay no fees. Yes, hashtag, we don't pay no fees. Um, and I've been getting questions from you guys, some of you who are on the fence and just wondering why I even say that. I believe, and if you've been following me for any amount of time, I call myself a booking magnet. Why? Because I am a magnet. I know that I'm energy. I know that I attract experiences to my life. I attract people to my life. Each and every one of you watching me, I have attracted you. I manifested you without you even realizing it. Something about you was like, oh, I got to get to Christine. Now we're connected because we're magnetic. 
That's powerful. And we do that every day in our lives. So the same thing happens with the team that you attract into your life. So some of you may have people on your team that don't believe in you. The energy don't feel right. Every time you come in a room with this agent or this manager, you're just like, oh, it's not right. That is what you brought into your life. And you have the choice at any given time to change that energy. It's like a light switch, on or off, positive or negative. We could turn it off. I don't, I don't like the energy. We're going to turn that light switch back on or turn it off. We're not stuck in our team. Even if we have a contract, if it ain't working, you know, the agent you had 10 years ago may not be the agent you need now because you're a different person now right? So just be aware of that. So I say agent attraction method because I'm putting out energy for beauty, love, for, for someone to see my talent, for me to give my talent. We can have harmony. I'm not afraid to call you. I know you're going to email me back. You're, I know you're going to send me out on auditions that, we, that is in alignment with my goals, not just with the check that you want to get 10% of. Does that make sense? Um, Hey, TC, Chicago and is all up in the house tonight. I have a better agent now who believes in me and loves me. So grateful and thank you. Yes, that's what it should be. So when you write that commission check, you feel good about it. It's a good situation. So I'm just going down that. So I hope that clears up any question about being scammed or what <laughs> being scammed feels like. It is called paying money before you do anything. Uh, what's up, Brandon? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can't see Brandon on Instagram. Uh, shout out to Brandon, uh, who's always uh, giving me mad love on online. Another question that came through, you guys, and also shout out to Kim Burns and Nagi, who I just interviewed a few days ago, who got um, agents and managers from taking this course. Uh, Curran Thompson out of Atlanta, who got his just signed with an agent like last week. Crystal Lee Brown, when she took this course, and she's Emmy nominated, by the way. Shout out to Crystal Lee Brown. Um, Got a manager during, during taking this course as well. So I teach methods. I don't teach mail your headshot and, and cross your fingers. If that's what you're looking for, I'm not the person for you. I believe in stepping outside the box. I believe in actually creating your own box then stepping outside that box. I believe in being seen. A lot of you, some of you are at home waiting to be discovered. And that doesn't work for me. You need to be like, hey, I am here. I am Brandon. I am Cherie. I am TC. I am Wendy. See me. This is how you're going to see me. Um, I have a couple more questions that came through my Instagram DMs, but let me not let me get back to Wendy here on, on Instagram from the Cayman Islands. I actually have somebody from South Africa who has a question. So I'm going to get to that. Facebook, I see you too. So you can put them in the comments and I will come get to you. This is all about the agent attraction method. Doors were supposed to close today, tomorrow. Well, today. Is today the 30th? Yeah, it's was supposed to close today, but I've extended it to Friday because some of y'all was like, y'all need to get paid. Y'all need to get your paycheck. <laughs> and I do have payment plans for those of you who need it. So Wendy said, if you're still here, Wendy, let me know. I think, oh no, let me read her whole question. I think the answer to this question, but does it make sense to seek an agent in the U.S. being in the Cayman Islands? Um, no, not if you don't have any plans to be in the U.S. And that actually goes to, let me look at the guy's name on, on Instagram who emailed me. I know he's not on here now, but I will tag him to this later. His username was, oh, Lord have mercy. It was Grant Kin 111. Grant Ken 111 in South Africa was asking a, a similar question, Wendy, about being out of the country. And um, you said, yes, you are. Wait. Okay. I'm going to give you two full answers. This is for any of you. So Wendy happens to be in the Cayman Islands, but some of y'all are just in Texas and trying to come to Atlanta or in Atlanta, try to go to New York or you're trying to go to LA. So no matter where you're shifting to, and if you're wondering why this pillow is here and you just got here, it's because I don't want Instagram to see my stomach. <laughs> I just think it's like giving me way too much area right here. So we're going to cover that up. Um, I can just keep it real with you. So, but it is comfortable. It's got a little cushion. Um, hey, Jasmine. Speaking of Texas. Um, William, I see you. I'm going to come back to you. So this goes to regardless when you're switching markets. So Wendy, let's just talk about it as switching markets. Do the research. And Wendy, you're in my Booking Magnet Academy. So I, I teach you know how to reach out to people and how to research people, which I know you're starting to learn from me. Do the research. But until you have a concrete time frame, 
Don't be trying to reach out to people. Don't think about it as I'm going to send my picture to X, Y agency in LA or in wherever you're um, wanting to land. Where do you want to land, Wendy? Where are you thinking of coming? It's like, I'm going to send my picture to blank and they're going to see me and love me. And like, my life is going to change and I'm going to fly to that new state or country and things will change. There's so much that involved in, in relocating. There's so much mental capacity that's needed, from finances, <laughs> you know what I mean? There's so much that happens with the relocation. I dare say the last thing that will be on your mind is my new agent. It's like, where am I going to live? How much money do I have? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so do the research, have it at the ready, but we're not going to leap Los, she says Los Angeles or Atlanta, for those of y'all are keeping track of my Cayman Island sister over here. Um, do the research. And that's what all of you can do. Shout out to, um, I mean, I put her business in the street. Shout out to the, uh, my client, you know who you are, who was recently let go from her job. I mean, like let go, no notice. And I, I sent her a, a private message on Instagram and was like, she thought she had to quit, like stop everything. And this is for you. 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 For you. Just because you get a sideline in your life, something drastic happens, doesn't mean that tragedy, that moment gets to take control of your entire life. It doesn't mean it talks you out of every dream that you have. It is a moment. This too shall pass. It doesn't get to take over everything. I still get to make 30 minutes to do research. I still get to take an hour on the weekends if I want to and do a self-tape. No one can stop that. Not a job, not nothing not no person or any situation. You feel me? So just know that you are still empowered even in the in-between. I hope somebody's writing this down. I feel like I'm dropping nuggets tonight. Brandon, you drop, you writing this down? <laughs> yes, okay? So no one gets to take that. Hey, Deshaun, hey, Dewan. Um, Let me come over here to William. William says, um, William Jefferson Jr. says, I like that name. How do you feel about exclusive and non-exclusive? You know, these days, most people want exclusive. I, and I don't know many people who are doing non-exclusive in, re, in regards to agents. Um, some agents want, depending on what uh, side of the world you're on or what market you're in, some will want to sign you across the board. That's more standard in uh, like in the Southeast for sure, because it's not common in the Southeast or even in Chicago, I don't think, to have multiple agents, unless maybe you have a voiceover agent and then a theatrical. Um, <laughs> Brandon said, what's the offer? Where's the offering place? <laughs> I love y'all. Um, so it depends. William, what market are you in? Can you put it in the comments really quick for me if you're still here? Um, and I see you Instagram. I'm coming to you. Grant, Grant Kin 111. I just answered your question. But I'm going to come to that part of it, too. You just missed it. But you can catch the replay because I literally just, everybody, y'all on Instagram, let him know I just shouted him out. Um, I don't know William's still online. But exclusive, be prepared to be exclusive um, in your market. So let me give you my example, and maybe this will help you. So for me, I have a manager in Los Angeles. So that's my only manager. And I have an agent. I'm allowed to have an agent. Most people do if you're going to have an agent or a manager. But I'm not exclusive where I, I, have, a, I have a New York agent. And I have an, an Atlanta agent who I've been with like 25 years. Shout out to Houghton Talent. Right? So most markets will want you exclusive in that market. And there will come a time, I'm sure, and it's, I know it's around the bend, where I'm just going gonna, gonna to come down to one team. You know, I don't, um, so I'm sure that's going to happen. It hasn't happened yet. So I hope, I know William, you're, I don't, I think you stepped away, but I hope that answers your question. Um, okay, awesome. I'm gonna come back to Instagram. Again, if you're just popping on, um, the agent attraction method is one of my signature digital courses. And I, as a bonus, I added a Q and A on Saturday, May 11th. So it's supposed to be just kind of a DIY, but I wanted to make sure whoever's taking it now gets to have me in real time privately. It won't be on Facebook. It's going to be on a private uh, uh, call for just the current people and people who took it within the past year. So if you bought this program before and you maybe you're still in transition or need some more help, 
you I've invited you as well so you can come on and join us the link is in the bio on Instagram and it's in the bio on and it's in the thing here on Facebook and if this is not what you need it's all good you just get to watch me talk and watch my watch my curly wig today um I'm coming back to Instagram Facebook if you have any questions please post them Wendy I'm glad um, and Wendy I'm sending you so many blessings um, but just prep Hold, hold steadfast to the vision, you guys. Sometimes things aren't always happening in the time we want them to happen, but hold steadfast to the vision. Hold steadfast to the vision. Um, awesome. Okay, Grant Ken. Uh, you're, I know you're coming to us from South Africa. I did touch on the question you asked initially about... Um, basically, guys, so you guys know what I'm talking about, I'll just read what he said. I live in South Africa at the moment. I've been working as an extra on HBO TV series. Um, I've been approached by a consultancy based in LA. I assume by consultancy, you mean agency, um, offering me their services to hook me up with NLA based agency. Okay, you got me confused. What's a consultancy and who are they saying they're trying to hook you up with? Because I just finished talking about scams. So I'm I'm really interested in who this third party service is. Grant Ken one one one, can you put it in the comments? Because we I don't use that word consultancy to connect you to a cert to mm, I need more clarification. How do consultancies in these circumstances work and how should I go about all this? Yeah, I need more information. Um, I want to go to another question. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna come back to you, Grant Ken. I'll look for your response. I had another lady who, sh this is for, also on Instagram. We gonna see how this goes. Cat, mm. <laughs> let me make it bigger. What? Cat, Katuska93. I'm gonna tag you to this later. Katuska93. Um, I did a video just so you guys have a backstory. I did, there's a video on my Instagram feed about industry referrals. Raise your hand if you have tried to submit to an agency before and you go to the website and they're like, eh, industry referrals only. And my whole video was basically about, A, don't come to me asking for one and B, and B don't be offended if that stranger or that person you took one class with before is not jumping at the gun to uh, give you an industry referral. But don't let that stop you was my point. So Katsuya Katuska93 was asking, she said, maybe I didn't understand. Do you not recommend getting in touch with agencies like, insert name, I don't want to say the name, for representation? So no, that's not what I'm saying. My, my point is, whoever the agency is, and then Tisha, I see you. Whoever the agency is, if, this, if the website clearly states industry referral only, because she was also saying she only had knew one person who was with them, but she didn't really know them. Like, don't put that pressure on that person you don't really know. Because I'm telling, my perspective is, if I don't really know you, I'm not putting my name on you because I really value my, my uh, reputation with my team. And I have given referrals to people in the past. Some worked out, some didn't. So I'm very cautious about it. My point was, if you don't have a legit industry referral, it may just not be the right time for that agency. And also that agency just may have enough of you, enough of your type. But don't force it is what I'm saying. And also don't be discouraged because I've also seen in this, some of my clients told me this, they saw a web, the, the agency said industry referral only, no excuses. And then they check back a month and a half later. I think Nagi said that, Nagi, Sammy Nagi, who I interviewed a few days ago on Facebook, he went back and they were accepting submissions. So just keep them on your radar. Don't cross them off forever. No just means not now. And that's the industry we live in. So, okay, Grant Ken, my, our South African brother has followed up here. Um, he said, this consultancy says they can assist you in getting an agency in the U.S. I, too, am confused to what a consultancy is. Let me tell you this, Grant Ken, 111. I say no. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what that means. And I've been doing this for over 20 years. Like, are they here? We use terms manager or agent. There are companies who are shams and scams who pretend to be a third party. 
and and I'm not gonna shout them out, but some of y'all have wasted money with them. So I'm not I'm not gonna get sued up in here today, but I'm gonna just let you know. There are some companies that say, we're not an agency, we're not a manager, but we're gonna have this event and you can come to this event and we're gonna have these people here and you can just pay us this fee and this is not to be confused with showcases, guys, like are New York and LA. I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about these websites that say something and these salespeople who reach out to you and try to bait you in. Listen, the fact of the matter is, when you're ready, Grant, to, if you decide to come to the US, approach it then. But what I think I saw from your DM was that you're working quite a bit in South Africa and that's working for you right now. I would personally say, keep building your demo reel, keep doing more and more work. Like if you're doing extra work, let's get you into some more speaking roles so that you can stop doing the extra work. It's really hard to balance extra work and speaking roles and be taken seriously at the same time. And I get it. Sometimes we just need the extra work to just pay bills or just get the onset experience. But just, I would say, keep working that and know that if and when you decide and you're ready to come to the States, all you have to do is just follow some steps and you can get your own representation. You don't need a consultancy, whatever that is. And y'all, if you know what it is, please let us know. You don't need that. So I hope that helps you. Let me know, give me a thumbs up or okay, that helped in the comments, I appreciate it. Coming over to Facebook. Um, and if you're just joining, hey, it's Christine Horn. This is Agent Attraction Method Q&A. Um, and Tisha Cole says, for someone who is just getting started in entertainment, where, how would they begin? Where, how would they begin? My pleasure. Um, how do they begin what? And what is your goal? Depends on, I'll answer this in general terms because that's a very vague question. Because some of you want to do theater, some of you want to do TV and film, some of you want to do voiceovers. Entertainment is very vast. So first step is figuring out what you think you might want to do. So becoming an actor, that's a good, that is a good general thing to say. But then do you see yourself on stage? Or do you see yourself on screen? That's step one. Okay. Getting in a class, like an acting 101 kind of class, right? When you're first starting out with no experience whatsoever, I don't think it's the time for you to get an agent. You, you don't even know what you're doing yet, right? You don't want to get an agent and then get dropped promptly <laughs> because you haven't been trained on self-taping, character development, like the craft. I think a lot of people, when they start, they see us, they see actors on screen and on stage and like, oh, I could do that, but don't know all the work that goes behind it. Work, sacrifice, time, study, care, character development, all of that. So I would say first to get, if you're just getting started, get in an acting class just to get started. The acting one-on-one, learn the warm-ups, learn how to create character. Maybe if you want to do film and TV, get in the class for acting on camera. But you need the fundamentals, and that's, um, that's just how that works. I hope that helps. Awesome. All right, we're winding down here. Um, I'll take a few more questions for whoever has them. Again, I'm Christine Horn. If this is your first time watching me, welcome. Just go to YouTube and if you have not seen some of the 170 something videos I have on YouTube, knock yourself out, bend yourself out. There's some good stuff there if you're desirous to work in film TV or if you just need some, just some like, someone to let you know you're not crazy that you have support, you know, going for this dream. I've talked to several people this week where this going for this dream of being a working actor um, is just putting them through the ringer. And I've been there. And um, I just want you to know that I see you, I feel you, I've been there, but you will come out on the other side. Your dreams may scare some people. They may even scare you. <laughs> and that's okay. Like that's when you know you're dreaming big and don't be discouraged by family, friends, associates who don't see your vision. It's not their vision to see, right? I always use this analogy of it's like putting someone else's glasses on. You're like, oh my God, that's so strong. How do you see out these glasses? They're prescribed to me. You're not supposed to be able to see out of them. They're my glasses. And I know, especially when you're not booking, 
or you're in between, or you're having to work two jobs just to stay afloat, but you're still trying to self-tape and, and, and meet up with people and post it on Facebook and trying to create a way, there are going to be naysayers. There are going to be dream snatchers who just don't get it. But trust me and believe because I'm a testimony, those same people will come back around, talk about, I knew you could always do it. I knew you could always do it, Dream State. I knew you could always do it, Grant. I knew you could always do it, Elisa, right? Um, and Tisha asked, can you, I suggest a class in Atlanta? And Tisha, are you a member of Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group? If you're not, please come on and join us right now. And if you are, just go ahead and post that in the Facebook group that you're looking for um, acting class suggestions in Atlanta. Because I don't live there anymore full time. I don't want to steer you wrong. I know some cool coaches, but just post it in our Facebook group. And for those of you on Instagram, hollywoodboundactors.com. Come on over. There's some amazing, there's some amazing teachers in Atlanta. Um, but I'd rather you get some current um, suggestions. Yes. All right, guys, we're going to wrap up. I will sit here for two, a few more seconds. You know, I want to share a, a, something that my coach told me um, the other day in a session. Um, as I build my business, for those of you who are new to me and don't know, my book will be out this July. It's called Playing Small, The Actor's Guide to Becoming a Booking Magnet. I was just on the phone today with my um, editor out in Poland. And um, there's just a lot going on and I'm excited to share it with you. And I was talking to my coach about just things I'm working on. And she said, and I want to share this with you, think big, start small move quickly. Shout out to Dallas Travers on that. Think big, start small, move quickly. And that's for each and every one of you. And Tisha, come on over to Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group and uh, look up, and if you're on Facebook or Instagram, look up Tasha Grant Actress. What's up, Tasha? T Let me put it here in the comments for you. Uh, maybe I can, I don't think I can tag you. I don't think I can tag you, Tasha. But just look her up because it's not letting me tag her on this page. Um, she's a great private coach as well. So and for those of you who missed it, oh, I got some more questions over here. Um, I'm gonna say it one more time for you guys. Uh, and some Dream State, hey Dream State, um, is asking any suggestions for classes in Dallas, Texas. Again, I don't live in Dallas, so I don't know, but Dream State, if you come on over to Hollywood Bound Actors, I got a client who's here in the Facebook thread right now. Shout out to Jasmine Shanice. Gammon. She's in Dallas, and I know she takes some amazing classes and a ton of improv classes. Um, so if you come to Hollywood Bound Actors, maybe you two can link in the group. I have a, we have a nice Texas group. We had a nice Texas community, Chicago community, Atlanta, New York, LA. We got a lot of great little hubs going on. So just come over there. And that's, in addition to it being an awesome group. Um, oh, drink, Jasmine, that's, that's your homeboy. He said, that's my girl. Well, go ahead and ask Jasmine. Come on, Dream State. <laughs> I like your headshot from what I can see. Um, let me get to uh, Jasmine's question. I'm going to give you that guys that quote again. Think big. So don't be afraid to think big. Sometimes we let the mountain scare us. Like, oh, my dreams are so huge. Think big, but start small and then move quickly. Okay? We're all holding on to that. Shout out to Dallas for that. So Jasmine asks, how do you know when it's time to move forward from your agent? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, and that'll help me round this out with the last two things I have to say. So she says, how do you know when it's time to move forward from your agent? Dallas is a huge commercial market, and my agent doesn't have the TV film connection, so to, so other agents, I'm, so to other agents, I'm still green. Well, Jasmine, I dare ask, can you keep that agent for commercials only and then find a theatrical agent? I think that's just, I think that's the way to go. If they're if Dallas is good for commercials, that's you can't change Dallas, right? So I would say go for the next closest market, whether it's uh, Atlanta or New Mexico or Florida. I don't know what's you know where you can actually get to easily and re and try to get an agent in that market for theatrical only. Um, yeah, that's my idea for that. Um, just as I wrap up here, um, again, we've been talking about the agent attraction method, my, my signature course. Doors were supposed to close today, but I know some of you personally reached out and was like, I don't get paid to Friday. So, um, <laughs> but I just want to just kind of recover what is in there. You can, of course, go to the website. 
but it's broken down. You'll get instant access to everything unless you do a payment plan, it'll be dripped out to you. Um, and just FYI, it's broken down into two parts. Section one, each part is about two and a half hours or so. Is about crafting the vision of what you want, get, working on your target research, which is really big. This isn't just any agent that will sign me, right? It's like being clear who you want on your team. Who needs to be on team Rico? Who needs to be on team Saikon? Who needs to be on team Elisa? Who needs to be on team Jasmine, right? We also work on your sales kit, which I call your, because I also believe that we are products. We are human beings, but we are selling this, right? We're selling this. Um, ignore the dance. So, and then we talk about, I do talk about referrals and how to ask for them. Um, session two goes deep into marketing. Like I said, I don't teach mail your headshot and hope for the best and pray. Like, no, we work on some next level strategy. I also do talk with you about the follow-up and a good way to follow up with these agents. Guys, one submission is not enough. Like you follow their instructions on the website and then you can't stop there. So I teach you how to be a little extra with that. Extra in a good way, that gets results. I uh, also prep you for the meeting. So you finally get the meeting and a lot of my actor clients freak out like, oh my God, for saying what, what am I supposed to say? What am I supposed to ask? So that, and then also keeping the agent. So how do you maintain that relationship? And then I, there's a bonus Q and A on there. You'll hear some success stories on that bonus Q and A. Like I said, some of the people who were on here, Kim, uh, Crystal, who's nominated for an Emmy right now, Nagi, Kerwin. Um, so you'll hear that. But in addition, I've added a live Q&A, which I don't usually do, but I felt like I know I would want to talk to somebody to get some one-on-one. -on -one. So I've added a Q&A on Saturday, May 11th at 9 a.m. Pacific, which is 12 p.m. Eastern. So then you actually get me in real time. S Stephanie P. Green on Facebook says, take, in all caps, take period the period class. Take the class. Um, so I added that and look, if this is not for you, fine. But what I found is this is the time, um, this class will go away and listen, here's the real deal as actors. I am one as well. We can be the most indecisive people on the planet. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe look, we ain't got time for all that. The class goes away Friday. It was supposed to go away today. I added it to Friday so you can get your paycheck, get on the payment plan or pay in full. It's up to you. Okay. That's just what it is. It goes away. The website will be gone. Don't DM me asking for it later. It's going to be gone. And we're going to be working on something else. Put in the back of your head, August 25th in Atlanta. For those of you, I'm coming to Bronze Lens Film Festival to take over the day and teach. So that's just a little sidebar nugget that you just want me to put back here in the file cabinet. It is in my absolute pleasure uh, hanging with you guys tonight. I always love talking with you. Um, just remember, just stay encouraged. This dream is for everybody, but this dream is for you. Have a good night.